Thanks, Raven. Just a couple of older donations I wanted to get to before wrapping up here. Carl with $200 said, put this to not saving the animals. I'm not saying kill them. I just think the animals could learn some better speed tech and save themselves. They have the shine sparks and wall jumps down. No sense rewarding laziness. And to be donated $250. Thank you so much. And they said, I've watched for several years, but this is the first time donating. Here's $250 for a fantastic event and charity. Thanks, everyone, for all this awesome runs. Yeah, once again, I have been prolix. My time here uh, is coming to an end after these two games. I, I might be back a little bit, I believe, for Titanfall 2. It'll be about 24 hours from now or so. I'll be leaving you in the capable hands of High Def Low Main. He helped uh, run the uh, poker tournament that we had for, for charity here on site. So that was awesome to participate in. Uh, so thanks to him for all that work. And as I transition, I'll leave you with a message from Twitch. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Keep those donations coming. All right, good morning, everybody. This is High Def Lomain. You're watching SGDQ 2017. Uh, I'm going to take a few moments just to read some uh, donations that we've got uh, before we get in with uh, Gu with Splasher. Uh, Ajax Unlimited, excuse me, Ajax Unlimited donates $75. Sneaking in a quick donation while I'm the only person in the office. I've been waiting all week to get paid so that I can give this to give to this amazing cause. Keep up the great work and let's see that extra Kingdom Hearts 2 run. We have $10 from Anonymous. Love watching Reesh play. He's such a nice guy. Also, the music in Owl's Awakening. We have a $6 donation from Warm Vanilla Sugar that says, we have a $6 donation from Warm Vanilla Sugar who says we have a $6 donation from Warm Vanilla Sugar who says we have a $6 donation from Warm Vanilla Sugar. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> little, little recursion for you on this Friday morning. We have $150 from Sabris. Hey, guys, great work you are doing. Keep it up. Oh yeah, kill the animals. 
We have a $100 anonymous donation. I'm going to miss most of the remaining runs because of work, so I figure I will give one final donation for all the good runs I did manage to catch. We have $10 from Roos Gukreen. Splasher, hype! Hi, Gu. We have a $30 donation from Loco Mojo. Just says, hi. All right, and looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to throw it over to Gu with Splasher. So... Good morning, everyone. Um, I'll just make a countdown for real time, but actually there's a, a, an in-game time that we used for all the speedruns, so RTA doesn't really matter. So three, two, one, go. So this is Splasher. This is a prequel cool game that has been released uh, in February this year. Um, there are some pretty cool mechanics. It's a 2D platform, as you can see. Uh, right at the beginning, I don't have any power, but pretty soon I will get some new powers. So the first level is just to introduce everything. You can see that uh, I can stick to walls with red paint. Uh, I will be able to bounce uh, on the floor and walls with yellow paint. And there's also a water spray that helps me to clean water on walls, which will be useful. You can also can kill enemies with that, uh, but you'll see that later. So during this first level, I don't have anything, as I said, but uh, very quickly I will get the, the water jet. And uh, yeah, it will be useful for the next levels. Also, as for the game mechanics, uh, you can see that I'm jumping every time I can. This is because this is slightly faster than uh, just walking by. So I'm doing my best to do some very timed jumps uh, to keep my momentum as much, as much as I can. And also, this is a bad guy of the story. Uh, you can see he's the bad guy because uh, he's laughing at us. Okay, and here's the water jet. So right off the bat, I will kill this guy and go left because this is the fastest way to beat the end of this level. So you can do pretty many things with the water jet, actually. You can trigger uh, some uh, wheels, water wheels, which will uh, make some platforms move. You can also kill enemies, but not all enemies. You will see that uh, in a few minutes. So basically, right now, I just need to kill these uh, potato-shaped enemies to get rid of some obstacles so I can move on. So right now, there's this ball uh, that I can't kill with the, the water jet. So this is pretty much the only enemy that I can kill this way. There's another one later, but it's another version of the ball pretty much. Oh, I missed this jump. Ah, uh, this is pretty bad. Okay. And I missed it a second time. I should just go to the ceiling. Okay. So the movement is pretty important in this game. Um, I will try to do it the best I can, but sometimes it's just uh, really finicky. But there's a pretty good feeling in this game. With uh, w once you get some, uh, once you get the touch with this game, uh, you can go pretty fast and it's overall very fluid movement that you can do. 
So that's why I like this game. Okay, I went too, too far. That's fine. So it's pretty much expected to die a lot during this run, so what I will do is I will give $3 every, every time I die, so that's one death already. I'll try to keep the count. And you may ask why $3, it's just because I don't want to eat instant noodles for the rest of the month. So every level has a kind of theme. Uh, the previous one was kind of an introduction to how to use the water jet. And now uh, the level is called Stick to the Plan, so you can expect to see lots of red paint. So we'll stick to walls and, st and ceilings. There's also a lot of uh, puns and games on words. Um, you'll see that in the, in the names of the levels. Right now there, there wasn't too much already, but uh, there's a lot of uh, references to pop culture and it will come soon. So I don't think there's pretty much anything else to say right now, so you can go for some donations if there's any. Sure thing. We have $20 from Shifta Deband. Wow, Gu, it's really incredible to see you at a GDQ. Thanks, Thanks for coming all the way from France to support Doctors Without Borders. Best of luck on your run today. Thank you. We have $20 from Matt11. G'day from Australia. This is the first time I've caught this live. Great work, guys. Okay, you can go for one more as I beat this level. This is the end, pretty much. Sure. We have $30 from Brett D. Thanks for all the great runs this week. Okay, fourth level, let it bounce. Uh, this is a reference, but uh, we don't exactly know what the reference is. Uh, my guess is that there's, there could be two potential references. It's either Let It Be by The Beatles or uh, Let It Go uh, from Frozen. I would, uh, um, I would say it's from The Beatles because it's an actual good song, contrary to the other one. Uh, so yeah, as the title suggests, uh, we will use a lot of yellow paint here. And that's the second S, okay. That's the third one. <laughs> and that's another thing that happens a lot, it's like, if I die once, I will probably die at least one more time after. This is just because I'm so focused to what's coming next. If I have to do the same thing a second time, I'm just not in it anymore. Also, you can see some uh, this uh, small monsters that you can see here and there. They can be trolling you sometimes. Like, uh, use spray water on, gen on them to kill them, and they won't actually die uh, instantly. Uh, so it can be tricky, uh, and you can just die in front of them because of that. And so far it's pretty okay. Okay, this is the end of the level. Uh, the next one is um, has the team that I like the less, the least. Jump on the water, so uh, I would go for uh, the purple with smoke on, uh, smoke on the water. This is this should be pretty pretty obvious. And the new mechanic here is the water jet, the water fountains. Um, the physics on them are pretty weird, actually. So I, that's pretty much the thing that I don't like in this game is the, the water fountains physics. Um, they can throw you in a way that sometimes uh, instead of going up, uh, you will go straight horizontally. And this can trick you and put you in acid. And of course, if you go into acid, you will die instantly. But yeah, pretty much, since it's a pretty good game and it has some water levels, the water levels have to be pretty different. Okay. Oop, sorry. Uh, so I can take some time to talk about the speedrun modes as well. Uh, this is a special mode called Selfish. 
And um, in the base game, if you play it casually, you will um, you will have to collect a lot of stuff on your way. But in the selfish mode, you don't have anything like this. You just have to get through the levels as fast as you can. So it's a pretty cool feature. Also, first boss fight. At the end of uh, this uh, level, I will get a new jet, which is the red paint. So the first, uh, all the boss levels are have the same shape. So first part is a kind of fight. So right there it's against uh, many monsters that pop uh, from time to time. It's entirely timed, by the way. They will always come in at the same time. And then there's an escape with the uh, acid flowing uh, under you. Also, the boss is really not happy. So yeah, that's the second part. Uh, as I said, it's an escape, so I just have to go up and up and up without dying. And uh, for the fourth one, you won't really see the acid uh, below me. I don't think that in the second one, you will see it a lot either. But in the last one, there's a high chance that I can die near the end because of that. So we'll see how it goes. Also, as I finish this level, you can go for more donations. All right, we have $50 from Tristan. Hi from France, long time watcher, first time donator, and I'm glad this is while my brother Gu is running one of his games. Come on, bro, you gotta go fast. Thanks. And yeah, for those who would not be sure, this is my actual, bro uh, my actual brother. We have $30 from the Luigi guy. I've been watching a few runs during the past few days and all of them have managed to amaze me in some way. Great games for a great cause, and the event's been fantastic as it always is every year. We have an anonymous $55 donation for this so good cause and those who make this possible. Much love all. We have $10 from Monkeys. First donation ever. Good luck to all the runners and make sure you have a good time. Okay, so this is red paint, and I will instantly have to use it to beat the end of this level. Uh, so you can pretty much see how it goes. I just press B, and uh, as I press B, red paint comes out from the, the jet, and I can move on this way. So jet, uh, red paint, it has a few other mechanics as well. You'll see that on the next level. I can pretty much stun, well, glue enemies and uh, if I do so they will be uh, they will be inoffensive to me I can pass through them and uh, I won't die so this is pretty much what happens there I go through the enemies and I don't die so that's pretty cool also they won't move and they won't attack well they pretty much do anything Also, as for the name of this level, I don't know what the reference is for this one. There, there is probably one, but I don't know about it. I think it's a reference to the movie that came out, There Will Be Blood. Oh, probably. So, thanks, yeah. Okay. So, another new mechanic here is... is um, this kind of cages with uh, a wheel inside. Um, so you have to spray either water or paint on them to make them move. But you can stick to them by uh, spraying red paint and going to the walls of the cages. Which is pretty useful. It's pretty much the only way to get through some things. But sometimes it can troll you a bit as well, so we'll see how it goes. And also, Leap of Faith right now. Ooh, that was pretty close, but it's okay. That's, that was a fast ride, by the way. Usually you have to go to, to the walls and stick to them to get lower and lower, but uh, this was the fastest way to, to put this. And now we are pretty much at the end of the level. I will, okay. That was pretty close as well, but it went fine. 
So level eight, Rayman Origin. So I hope you get this one. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. And the reason to that, uh, it's time for some shout outs as well. The main developer of the game has actually worked on uh, previous Rayman games. So both Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends. And he's done both uh, the, I think he has done pretty much all the work on this game, except for graphics. So yeah, he's both the level designer and the game designer of this, uh, of this game. Uh, and yeah, he's been also really supportive. That's him who made him uh, the, this uh, awesome shot that I'm wearing right now. Um, he's also built a special version of, uh, of the game for me, uh, because right now I'm using speedrun mode, but if I use speedrun mode in, a, in the classic version, uh, you would see my splits. Uh, there are in-game splits that are shown below of the, um, of the, the in-game timer that you can see on the top left. Uh, but uh, in this version, I decided to hide the splits because I don't want uh, to, to show them. Because this is pretty, not, pretty much not the point of this, uh, of this run. Also, shout out to the French stream, obviously, because uh, we, have, we also have the developer of the game commentating my run right now, as well as uh, the designer for the speedrun mode. And... Um, a very popular caster. That, oh, that was really close. That was an, um, that was a fast strat as well. I went before the, the laser. Otherwise, I would have to wait for two or two three seconds. So that's good. I got it. And yeah, the, the third guy that is commentating my run right now is a very good caster as well. Very popular in France. So shout out to these guys. And I hope they are having a good time as well. Okay. Stick on the water, that's the second water level. Okay, good. Um, the first one was okay, like really, it, was, it wasn't too difficult, but the two other ones, which are level nine and level 13, they're really more difficult. Um, not only because, well, the difficulty rises obviously a bit uh, every time I go to a new level, but also there's some specific obstacles that are really hard to for me to pass constantly so we'll see we have twenty dollars from Baikow. hi i'm very happy splasher is run this year it's a great game thanks for all the organization say hi to the french restream money goes to runner's choice thanks Okay, incoming is a part that I don't like in this level. So first, th this thing, I just can't aim correctly. Uh, another thing that I didn't talk about is the auto-aiming in this game. Uh, you can, you do pretty much everything with a single joystick, so both uh, movement and aiming. And the game helps a lot to aim at things. You just have to barely go to any di direction and. Uh, the game will aim for you, but sometimes, um, like if there's too many things to aim at, uh, the game can be tricked a bit. So it's not 100% precise, but it's pretty good. And that's the end of this level. In Kin Park. Okay, another reference that you should pretty much get, uh, pretty obviously, but uh, in the end, if you don't get it, it doesn't even matter. So that's the second yellow paint level. Okay, good fast strat. Uh, I didn't get trolled by this guy. Sometimes he can just move on to the left and uh, basically go ca uh, kamikaze on you. But it didn't happen, so that's good. Another fast strat that I'm about to do if I don't die. So that's the fourth this. Okay. So you just go there, bomb there, and I got it. Nice. There will be another fast strat at the end where basically every time you have to bounce, uh, every bounce costs like two seconds, around two seconds. So if you can manage to uh, get rid of some of the bounces, it's very good uh, for the, the overall time. So there will be another strat at the end. I will try to do to the right to get rid of one bounce on the yellow paint. 
And it's coming pretty soon. Alright, this is right there. So one, two, three. I think I have enough height. One, two, and it's fine. Okay, good. That was pretty close. All right. So Windwalker, uh, this is a, a level with a new mechanic, which is wind, as the title suggests. Uh, the wind, it always pushes you to the right, so you can do anything about it. And if you want to go left, like right now, you have to spray red paint on the floor to stick to the floor, because otherwise you will just get dragged to the right as, uh, as well. So of course, because you're always dragged to the right, uh, you go faster to the right. This is, yeah, this makes sense. Uh, but also, the main difficulty in this level is to anticipate things right and make sure you don't make any mistakes because since you always go to the right pretty much, uh, you have very hard ways to back up in case you miss a jump or something. So better do this uh, correctly on the first try. We have $20 from Shad. Shout out from Montpelier, Splasher hometown. Good luck to you for his run and congrats to all the runners for this amazing event. Thank you, yeah, lots of support from the, the French community. This is pretty obvious because um, the game is pretty well known in France, but apart from that, outside of France, it has very, I don't know, nobody knows this game outside of France. This is, this is very, very curious. Uh, if you check the leaderboards on uh, speedrun.com, you will see that it's offensively French. Like, we have 25 people, I think, and only two of them are not French or French-speaking. So, yeah, that's that. I really hope that this run will, will help some people to pick the game and we, we have a more vari various, yeah, various uh, leaderboard. We have $10 from Popa Large. Good luck, you, Debussy. Thanks. I apologize for my French uh, <laughs> pronunciation. It's been a while since high school French. Don't worry. All right. So Troopers, please, or another pretty obvious reference. And new mechanic as well. Uh, this time it's uh, white lasers. So white lasers, you probably can hear that Every time I cross them, and I forgot to spray the right draw, the right uh, paint. Great. So that's five deaths. Um, so yeah, as I go through this uh, yellow, no, not yellow, white uh, lasers, uh, you can see a beep that is uh, going higher and higher in pitch. Uh, you have like, you can cross them for like two seconds, I think. And then uh, after this time, it will change to red and you die instantly if you're in there. So you have to time your way correctly. And it will also be useful in later levels to kill some enemies that you have to kill with this kind of lasers. Okay, the game didn't troll. Sometimes, um, when you spray red paint on uh, walls and uh, you try to stick to them, there will be a very small time, like, I don't know, maybe two tenths of a second, where your character will get stuck. And because of that, sometimes... Oh, it just happened right now, once again. Uh, I don't know why this happens, but yeah, sometimes, uh, if you're a bit uh, short on time, you can actually die because of that. You just get uh, grilled by the, the laser. It's pretty finicky, I don't exactly know why it happens, but yeah, you have to deal with it because it's a thing that happens. So yeah, we're pretty close to the end of the server, you can go for one donation probably. We have $20 from Antoine244. Greetings from France, glad to see the Splatoon Portal Boy on the big screen. Nice t-shirt, Gyu. Thanks. Yeah, of, uh, obviously, even if in its mechanics, there's a lot of references to other games. So yeah, Super Meat Boy has been quoted. 
as well as Portal, well, mostly Portal 2 for the, the paint mechanics. And Splat people uh, compare it to Splatoon, but there's no actual reason, I think. But yeah, it's probably because the game has been released uh, not too long ago after Splatoon, as Splatoon has been pretty popular as well. So yeah, it's like, hey, there's paint, so it's Splatoon. Also, Water is Coming, this is probably the level that I like the least in the whole game. Uh, this is the third and last water level in the game, and it's uh, very finicky uh, by moments. So yeah, fast track, you just, just jump there, and it's uh, faster than waiting for the whole platform to move. We have $10 from XZ Vaser. Hi, Gyu. Good luck for this amazing run. Don't play too safe and get that plat time. Thanks. Yeah, X oh, XZ Vaser is... Um, okay, that was close. Uh, he's another runner for this game. He has a pretty good time as well. Um, he just talked about uh, platinum time, which is a thing. Uh, basically, for the speedrun modes, which are either IELTS or uh, full game speedruns. There are some medals that you can get, and I almost got trolled, got sniped by the, the monster. Uh, there are some medals that you can get, and there's uh, three medals that are already shown, and there's a hidden one, which is Platinum Time, uh, which is uh, much more demanding, but uh, I think I should get it, unless I die like this. So that's, oh yeah, so that's seven deaths right now. So just when I say I should probably get it, <laughs> I die twice. That's a good thing. But yeah, I should be able to get it. Hopefully I will. Um, yeah, that's it. We have $10 from Lord Mouse. Hey, you had to donate your run to wish you the best of luck. First time seeing this game, and it looks really fun and challenging. Good luck on the run, my dude. I'll let you decide where the money goes. Thanks. Yeah, you're right. This game is both very fun and also challenging, as you can see. Uh, as I said, it is expected to, di to die a lot, so in your casual playthroughs, uh, you will die even more. As well, because there's a lot, of, a lot more things to do in a casual playthrough than just going straight uh, through levels. So it adds also more difficulties. And now, level 14. In Corp Express, there will be um, an Easter egg that I will explain after it happens. So I will just uh, say nothing, and uh, because this is an audio thing. Okay, this was right now. So the small jingle that you could hear when the train started. The four notes thing, it's uh, actually the jingle that you can hear in all train stations in France. And they took, took this uh, to, for this level. I think it's a, it's a pretty cool Easter egg. And this level is hard. I, I won't say much more. Um, oh, sorry. Pretty much that, that was the checkpoint before I entered the, the actual train. And now I have six rooms to complete before the next um, the next checkpoint. So if I die, especially on this one, it should be okay. Nice high strat. Okay, it went fine. So now the rest should be okay. Uh, but yeah, if I die during the train, it can be extremely costly in time. Especially if I die near the end. Oh, that was very close with the saw. Okay, the, the last one is three. And now this was the second boss fight, I could say. Okay, good. That's a strain. That's very good. And now because it has the same shape as the, the first one, uh, now I will have an escape. And at the end of the escape, I will get the yellow paint. And after I get the, the yellow paint, the actual game starts. And you will see that it's uh, pretty much a high spike in difficulty. Uh, whenever I, I get the, the yellow paint. Because suddenly you have to manage everything at once and the levels are also more difficult. So yeah, that's that. 
We have $50 from Richard. Shout out to Gu from the Ori Discord. Great job on running this amazing platformer. Put this money toward naming Tifa peanut butter in FF7. Thanks. Yeah, I used to run Ori for quite some time and now I don't anymore. I'm, I really hope the second Ori game that will come, hopefully soon, will be a very good game as well and I can run it too. So I'm really anticipating that. We have $500 wow. from T-Pocket. says, chat sends their love put towards runner's choice. Wow. Thanks a lot. So, yellow paint. Um, now I can, do, I can spray it on the walls and floors. Uh, it's not very really useful to spray it on the ceilings. Uh, so, every time I want to spray it on the floor, I have to press down. So, I have to do an actual diagonal between uh, the direction I want to go and down as well. So, there's a high chance I will die several times because of that, because uh, sometimes I just pre not press down enough and uh, the yellow paint just goes uh, straight in front of me instead of on the floor. And I can just see that it happens and I will die because I go straight into the acid. So yeah, as I said, uh, the levels are getting more and more complex. Uh, I hope you can see that right now. We have $100 from Renaud Bedard. Hey, wow. Gil had to donate during your first GDQ run, and for such a good cause, it's a no-brainer. Thanks for your dedication and being such a nice guy. Thanks a lot. I, it's very touching. And for those who don't know, Renaud Bedard is um, the main developer for Fez, which is a game that I've run for three years. And uh, yeah, last time uh, it was at a GDQ, I was supposed to run it there, but I actually couldn't because, uh, because of school. So Vulogin uh, ran it instead of me. Okay, Toxin Bubbles. Uh, this is a new kind of level, kind, kind of. So instead of having water everywhere, like in the water levels, uh, now you have acid everywhere. So you pretty much don't want to touch anything. Uh, I hope it will go well. Usually this level goes pretty well. But you never know. Uh, there is... Uh, I've, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think it's on this level. Oh, uh, yeah, it is, actually. There is a fast strat here. I'll try to do it. Uh, basically, the first cycle that you can do. It's good so far. It's not done yet. Very nice. So it doesn't look that hard, but actually you have to do pretty much everything perfectly. Otherwise, you will just get hit by a drop. And if you get hit by a drop, you just die. We have $50 from Dio Mark II. Hi, Gu. Kisses from the French Restream. So You're not alone. Yeah, so many people. Thanks, everyone, for the support. I really enjoy it. So yeah, this level went fine. Uh, 17, Stormwind, should be okay too. This is the second level with wind. It's a bit longer, it's also a bit, uh, a bit more difficult, obviously. And for those who didn't get the reference, it's uh, from the Warcraft universe. We have $30 from Codeman84. I had to donate for our man, Gyu. Even though the couch is empty, 83,000 of us online are watching you destroy Splasher. Money yeah. to runner choice. Thanks a lot. It's not their fault, but I was supposed to have two commentators and uh, they, I don't know, they didn't show up. Uh, maybe they're still sleeping because they spent all the night awake. So yeah, I can totally understand that it's not a problem. We have $10 from Wrist. 
Twitch chat is sending the love you. With us, you'll never be alone. Thanks. Can we get some splasher hype in the audience and some pog champs in the chat? Loving the run. Good luck. All right, this this is uh, almost the end of this level. Uh, there will be one thing at the very end that I hope I won't miss. It does like this checkpoint, and it will after this it will be the end. There are two platforms I need to spray yellow paint on, and it's uh, very actually very finicky because the sp the platforms are um, are very tight, and yeah, there's not much space. So actually, there's one more checkpoint, and it will be it will be the end, kind of. Okay, that was close. It's right up. First one, uh, second one. I got it. Nice. Once again, it doesn't look it, it doesn't doesn't look that hard, but it's actually uh, pretty finicky. So yeah, Rayman, Rayman Legends. Uh, yeah. I explained earlier why. So th there are a few fast rats uh, in this level as well. I will try to let you know when they happen. We have $10 from Anonymous. This splasher run is amazing. Thank you, Gu, for introducing me to this game. And thank you, too, for enjoying it. We have $50 from Maha Noob. Hi, Gyu. This game is really oh, cute. Cool. That was a very close call. Yeah, thanks for the donation. I'm sorry. Here's $50 for my Crimes Against Humor. Good luck. I'm loving the run. This game looks like a blast. OK. Uh, fast strat coming up. I hope I will be able to get it first try. So spray this guy. Jump, spray this guy, and it went very well. And now you just have lots of time to do this, la this laser cycle. Oh, OK. So the end of this level is, uh, it's not real, not a scroll, because you just go at the speed you want. But if you're too slow, there's a laser behind you. Uh, it already happened in the previous uh, Rayman level, but yeah, it's not that hard. All right. Let's go to level 19, Toxic Revenger. Right now, it's just getting harder and harder every time, so I think I've explained most of the things I need to explain right now. So you can go for more donations. All right. We have $150 from Salila. Good morning from Europe. Wonderful night shift. Thank you for an amazing event and good luck to all speedrunners. Also, go the distance. Doesn't this song title say it all? <laughs> we have a $5 anonymous donation. It says, shout out to Le French Restream. And thanks to all the SGDQ staff for making this event better every time. Yeah. I'll just take a moment right there to also thank Ginston Quick for their support because a few years ago we didn't have any restream and uh, thanks to that, both their trust and their, the opportunity that they gave us, we now have uh, multiple restreams in uh, multiple languages, so shout out to all the restreams as well. Uh, this year we have French obviously, we also have German, uh, Russian and Japanese, which is pretty new, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks uh, again to Quick as well for this opportunity that you're giving us. We have $10 from Caesar Steak. To the three people I can see on camera right now, you are all awesome and let no one else tell you otherwise. Oh, okay, I can back this up. All right. Thankfully, I didn't die because I was just before checkpoint, and if you die just before checkpoint, that's where you lose the most time, obviously. So this kind of elevators that you can see with uh, uh, with drops of acid uh, sh being shoot, being shot, yeah, being shot. Uh, you will see that later in a very harder way. It will be on the next level, so level 21. 
Meanwhile, GLaDOS principle, there's a double reference here to both Taros principle that has been uh, run uh, yesterday and uh, GLaDOS, which is obviously, obviously from Portal, which has also been uh, run yesterday. So in this level, there are two skips. Uh, the two skips are the same, but they uh, you just have to do it twice because they're pretty much the same thing twice happening. So it's right now. Uh, let's do the first one. Okay, I got it, nice. So what happens is that there's a lot of platforms that you need to go on, but if you time your shot, your, your water right, you can just go straight to the last one and go the, to the highest uh, platform already. And that was the second one, it went well as well. So now I just need not to screw up the end of this level, which can happen sometimes. Okay, so just shoot everyone here. Uh, one thing I didn't explain also is that you have now multiple ways to get rid of enemies. Either you can spray them with water, or you can glue them with uh, red paint, or you can push them with uh, yellow paint. And uh, some I usually prefer to go with yellow paint because it's just much more satisfying to get them out of your way. <sighs> Level 21, Apocalypse now. Um, the title says it all. It's pretty much hell right now. I really hope that I will be able to do it deathless because it's so satisfying to get. So I'll just try to focus a bit more right here. Uh, you can go for some donations if you want. I don't know if I will react to them, though. Not a problem. We have $50 from War. Donating because I won't be able to till after work. Thanks for all you do, SGDQ. Here's for the bonus run of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We have $10 from Feral246. Gyu's run has been so impressive, I can't look away. Keep it up, love everything you guys do. Okay, that was uh, the early cycle right there, so good thing I got it. You can go for more donations if you want. We have $150 from KPyrate. The amount of work you all put into making these marathons happen, providing a week of entertainment and raising so much for charity are an incredible feat. I applaud all of you who have contributed to this event, especially you, current donation reader. I don't know who you are, but I have no doubt you are an awesome person. Aw, thank you. We have $200 from Chocolate Malk. I look forward to GDQ events every year. Amazing cause, amazing runners, amazing tech team, amazing commentators. Okay, we are heading to the last checkpoint of this level, which is right now. Um, it's very long, and it's obviously one of the most difficult checkpoints in the whole game. Uh, basically, you'll see, I was talking, oh, okay, I'll take it a bit slow then. Um, I was talking about elevators earlier, and this is the last one. Okay. Okay, so you have to do multiple things at once, both uh, going up, also shooting these guys, and it went very well. And now Good Luck Splasher is the last level. It's uh, also the last boss level, so first part will be, will be a boss fight, and an actual boss fight this time. Uh, you'll see that. And then the final escape, which once again I hope I will be, I will be able to do deathless. So the boss is not really hard once you know how to do it correctly. Uh, there's a few things you need to know. So basically, there will be five spots that you will have to shoot, one after the other. And to do that, I just go to this wall, and then at some point I will go to the next wall. The spots will always um, pop at the same time. So the first one is there. And then there will be some monsters uh, coming in. And you have two choices. Either you can kill them or you, you can just glue them. So I will glue the them because they just don't re-pop after. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, a no-brainer. So then the first one will be on the top right. And then I'll move to the left uh, side. Okay. 
So right there. Now moving to the last spot as I said. There will be the the four spots on the top left and the last one will be in the middle. Uh, but the last one is actually pretty finicky to get because of the auto aim. As I said earlier, if there are too many things to aim at, uh, the game can be a bit lost. So we'll see how it goes. At least I glued them and I will try to slowly go up. It should be okay. No, it's not. Uh, okay. So that was the boss fight and now the final escape. That is pretty much what you should ex ex expect from a last escape of, the, of a game. All right. So yeah, there's acid everywhere, things that are coming, up, coming after you. Lasers, saws, that's pretty much everything that you saw in the game previously. So, more extra spots. Also, now you can see the acid uh, that is flowing below you. Uh, yeah. It shouldn't be a problem except at the very end of, the, of this escape. If I screw up my movement... Uh, <laughs> oh, all right. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Okay, eight death. I almost got a backup and I failed it at the very end. Okay, I'll take it a bit slow. Shouldn't be a problem with the acid. So yeah, it's very tense, as you may expect. Especially when you're in PB pace, which is, well, not the case right now, pretty much, obviously. Um, but yeah, I usually choke... That was stupid. Uh, I usually choke a lot uh, during uh, the last escape because I'm so tense when I'm on PB pace. That's 9 deaths or so. It should still be okay for the, um, for the Platinum time. I had a good margin. I just checked the time before uh, starting this, uh, this escape and I had, yeah, pretty good margin. So if an, even if I die a few times, it should be okay. So now this is the um, third to last. Wow. Okay, 10. I think this is a third to last uh, checkpoint, uh, if I remember correctly. No, I think there's one extra. I don't exactly remember. I don't really pay attention to checkpoints, I just pay attention to the levels overall. Yeah, this is the second to last checkpoint, and the last one is pretty easy. So yeah, too bad that you didn't get a deathless escape, but it's still pretty good. So right there, okay, I got the first one. So now I just have to shoot these guys. Uh, if they want to shoot, hello. Okay, good. Uh, time will be coming up in like 30 seconds, I think. This is the last checkpoint. You just have to give the final blow to the boss and then go to the, the last room, pretty much. Hey, um, it might be a sub-43. I think it will, which is pretty okay. And time, yeah, sub 43. That's pretty good. So as you can see, uh, on the on the left side, there's uh, the the platinum time that is at 43.44. I got 42.53, so that's uh, pretty far ahead from the platinum time. And you can also see my personal base that is at 41.38. I hope I will improve it. My goal is to get sub-41, uh, ultimately. So yeah, I hope it will happen and it should happen at some point. So yeah. Um, I think I already did my shoutouts during the run, so I don't have much to say anymore. So thanks uh, once again for having me. Uh, I hope you had a good time and yeah, thank you once again. All right, fantastic run, Gyu.
We're going to get a couple donations in uh, that came in for this run. Uh, $5 from Random Band Girl. I don't know this game or this streamer, but every time he smiles, my heart melts. Good luck with the run and with smashing the donation record. We have $50 from Gals Got Moxie. Discovering a new game during a fun run is one of my favorite things about GDQ events. Cheers to you. $10 from Snazzy Cool. I have never heard of this game before. Thanks for showing it off, Q. We have $50 from Anenzoras. Hi, Gyu. Starting solo Gyu incentive for FF7 Sid's name as a thank you for your amazing run. Shout out from, from, shout outs from French Restream. We have $50 from 